What's going on YouTube? Today we're doing Persistence and Persistence is part of the Intro to the Blue Team. Persistence is the challenge that comes before the last challenge which happens to be random. So we approach the end of this track. Okay, so let's take a look now at Persistence and see what's all about. And by reading the description, and here we read, we're noticing some strange connections from a critical PC that cannot be replaced. So it could be a mainframe computer, it could be a public server, right? We have run an antivirus scan to delete the malicious files and rebooted the box. So there were some sub suspicious connections coming off the box, off the critical PC to some, you know, strange destinations. So they thought that these connections are originating from a malware infection. So the guys decided to, as you can see, run an AV scan to delete the malicious files and reboot the box. They thought it would, this would clean the infected PC, if it was. Um, but the connections get re-established. Again, after deleting the uh, malicious files, we see that the connections are re or trying to reconnect to the destination. So what happened? So what we did, we've taken a um, backup of some critical system files. Can you help us figure out what's going on? So they took some, you know, you can, it could be a memory dump. It could be some sort of uh, disk image. It can be registry hive. In the case of today's challenge, they give you a registry hive, right? So if you download the files, you click on download, you will be presented with a registry hive. So we go to my desktop and from here we will start the analysis. So ls and this is the file that you will download. Now, if you want to find out what kind of file it is, we can issue file query. This will give us the nature of the file. As you can see, it's Microsoft Windows registry file. So what happened here that the guys there, they have extracted or Perform an acquisition of the registry. An acquisition of the registry can be done through several tools, among which is the FTK Im Imager. So if I go to the registry notes here, I've outlined how to take or acquire the registry file using FTK Imager, and probably, probably that's how they did it. So they presented you with the query, the file, the registry have, and you have to analyze it to decide what happened. So when analyzing registry, the registry is a big place, right? There are many keys, many um, things to look at. So what to do in this case? So basically, when analyzing re the registry, we focus on um, key locations. So the loc here are some key locations we can look at. For example, if you want to investigate fi open files using the internet browser, we can, use, we can navigate to this location. If you want to investigate the recent files, we investigate the recent docs and so on and so forth. In our case, we suspect that the system is compromised. So we're looking at uh, registry keys that would prove or disprove that the machine is compromised. So we can look at login activities. We can look at um, services that start up automatically and we can look at, let's see here, what do we have else? Run programs on boot. These keys would give you guys an idea if there are some uh, scripts or programs that are configured to run on system boot up, which is a hallmark of any malware. Okay, let's do that. Now, we know what happened. We know how the guys extracted the file and we know what keys to focus on. Now it's time to decide what are the tools we're gonna use. So there are command line tools to analyze the registry and there are GUI tools. In this video, we're gonna explore both command line and GUI tools. So to install registry analysis tools on Kali, you can issue the following command, sudo apt get and install registry tools. Once you do that, a collection or suite of registry analysis tools will be installed to your Kali. Okay, now let's start with command line tools. The first one is, let's see, reg shell. So just start reg shell dash dash help. 
and you'll be presented with the help menu which you can use to analyze the file one of the most important options is dash f so dash f is an option that you can specify to uh, use to specify a file in our case we have a file called query so you can use dash f and here are other uh, options regarding the if, you, if you're using samba and credentials if, if it is protected with a password if it is was shared or hosted on a share and protected using a password okay now let's start the analysis so reg sudo reg shell dash f query this will open the registry hive as you can see and you can start the navigation now one of the key commands to start the navigation is list so list will give you what are the available keys so as based in our previous discussion there are certain keys that we want to focus on so let's start with um, automatically run programs on boot that's one windows log in activities let's navigate to this one so software microsoft so cd to software ls and then microsoft ls and then we go to windows nt the cd windows nt did we go to that path no Let's put that between double quotes. Okay. And then we have current version, CD to current version. And then we have the following keys. So we want to print the current version when log on. So this is it. So print when log on. No such value. Okay, let's see it when log on. LS. And we have these binary keys. Let's see here. Exclude profile directories. Build number first, log on. So these are binary values. We can decode them. Okay. Another key to focus on is let's see this one automatically run programs on boot so if you go back to current version this time go back to windows cd windows cd current version cd run and we have this C Windows System 32 and we have this weird looking executable file so this executable file is configured to run on system boot so what we need to do we need to find out what is this one since we don't have access to this file all we have to do is to deal with the, the name so the name could be I think it is encoded with some sort of encoding mechanism or language let's go to Cyberchef and find out so Cyberchef, here we go, Cyberchef, input, let's try some magic, let's see here, so form, it's page 64 as you can see, and this is the result, so as you know guys, these are city of challenges, so the output of your analysis will be the flag so now we know what kind of file it is and this is the flag for the challenge let's submit the flag and make sure our work is correct before we continue exploring other tools for registry analysis so we go to hide the box submit the flag 
Easy, three. So, this is correct. There we go, we can also uh, explore other keys. Let's go to this one, Windows, current version, run once. Do we have run once here? Run once, we don't have one. Okay. Services that start automatically. Okay, let's go to this one. So we're gonna need to see the all the way back, like that. Exit. Okay, so I I think this is the user hive, not the machine hive. So we don't, we can't analyze this one. Okay, now let's analyze the registry hive with another tool so we can also use registry ripper so sudo reg ripper this is a GUI file a GUI tool what you can do you can specify an input browse the input will be the registry hive and the output will be the report so we name it as report and will be in the same location save the plugins now the plugins depend on the objective of the analysis so what do you want to do you want to find out uh, what do you want to find out here we want to find out if there is a compromise it means we want to find out if there are persistence mechanisms on the system so you can find that using nt user all plugin so rip it and it's finished but we have two errors never mind let's let's close that and explore the report so this is the report let's open it with mouse pad as you can see we have a dump of all of the registry keys using the end user all plugin what we can do here we can search for the suspected user uh, the registry keys we want to find out so basically control f and we use run or you can just copy the path itself or part of it so basically we're interested in run once or run current version run copy that and then and here it is and this is the exact same value we found using the command line tool reg shell so that was it guys that's how you analyze registry hides if you want to explore more, you can just um, consider subscribing to the notes membership to be able to download this file or access the file, sorry. So that was for today, guys. I hope you liked that and I will definitely see you in the next video.